Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you very much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate your support and everything throughout the course of these videos that I have been doing and everything like that. And as you can see by the title of this video, it's something very exciting to speak about. But before we get into all of that and all the details, yeah, I got my first shot of the vaccine today. I'm feeling pretty good. Some of my emotions after receiving the first dose was I felt extremely thirsty and I felt quite warm in my neck area. Well, other than that, to this point in time, I thank the Almighty. I'm doing very well. And long may that continue. So, this is not a, a PR message or anything like that, but I do encourage my fellow Jamaicans, those on the island and overseas, please take the COVID-19 vaccine. The sooner you do it, the sooner we can get to see the reggae boys play at the National Stadium in September for the World Cup qualifiers. We all want to do that, don't we? So if everybody steps forward, gets their shot, it helps us moving forward. Why? because we will get that privilege, that opportunity to not only go to the Gold Cup and watch Jamaica, but we will get the opportunity to go to the National Stadium and watch the Reggae Boys, to travel to the Estadio Azteca, to travel to Columbus in the United States, to travel to the Estadio Nacional or Ricardo Saprissa, Deportivo Ricardo Saprissa Stadium in, in Costa Rica, or Tegucigalpa in Honduras, or Willemstad, in Curaçao or San Salvador in in El Salvador or Toronto in Canada or Port-au-Prince in Haiti the quicker we do that is the quicker that we will be able to move forward with our lives like I said I'm doing well I'm not a fan of needles I'm probably I'm probably the the biggest scaredy cat in the world when it comes to needles but I'm alive I'm doing well and long may that continue. So please, guys, it's your turn. Your turn to step up. One dose in the back. It's your turn now. Uh, yeah, and afterwards, you take two Panadol, and you should be fine. So getting on to something quite intriguing is a topic that I know many of you have been quite enthused about, and that is in relation to our goalkeeping depth. We know Andre Blake is our undisputed number one. I've been impressed by Andre Blake ever since he broke into the national setup in 2010. Many people forget that he was our third choice goalkeeper behind the likes of Donovan Ricketts and Dwayne Miller, Dwayne Carr, etc. In 2010, for that friendly international against Costa Rica at the National Stadium, he was part of the squad. And at the time, he was 19 at the time. Went to overseas, the University of Connecticut, and then drafted to MLS then broke into the team 2013 rooming with daniel gordon during the 2014 world cup qualifiers and <laughs> made his debut 2014. but there has been a lot of question marks about what the understudy will be and i believe the goalkeeping department is an area where you can't have too much depth and i do see yes the likes of amal knight and Dwayne miller as good understudies towards Blake, but you can never have too much depth. That's something that you can say, oh, I have too much of. Never. And that's why we look at Lawrence Vigarou. Who is Lawrence Vigarou? Well, Lawrence Vigarou is a 27-year-old goalkeeper who currently applies his trade in England. He was actually born in England, born actually just three, four, five days before I was born in, in Camden in London. And right now he's currently playing with Leighton Orient. That's in League Two. 27 years of age, six feet, four inches tall. And has spent some time at, at different clubs in England, like he was in the Academy of Tottenham Hotspur and the Academy of Liverpool. Spent some time at Swindon as well. And now applying his trade at Leighton Orient. He did spend some time in Chile as well. But we'll get to that quite soon. So yeah, how does he qualify to play for Jamaica? Well, Lawrence Vigrou qualifies to play for Jamaica through his parents, 
you know, that is the the scenario of the situation. His so his father. So one of his parents has the Jamaican heritage, and the other is Chilean. That is why in 2013 we were able to see where he represented Chile in an under 20 game. And I went to Chile 2016 when the Reggae Boys took on Chile, and I was saying to myself during the time he was at Swindon, I was talking to Chilean officials and the Chilean Football Association. Is is Lawrence Vigoro part of your plans? Uh, si, si, Simon, Lawrence Vigoro, muy bueno jugador. I'm like, really? You're going to give Lawrence an opportunity in the Chile first team? I don't think so. And to this day, this guy's almost 28 years old and he still hasn't broken into the Chilean team. In comes Joby Makanov. And as you can see, I did a video with Joby Makanov a couple of months ago earlier in the pandemic. And I spoke to Joby about being in the airs of Lawrence about Jamaica. And that hard work has paid off. That hard work has, has paid off. Why has that hard work paid off? What is the deal? The deal is this, Lawrence Vigarou wants to play for Jamaica. And you might say, what's different in this case? England are not onto him. He has no, he has a 0% chance of playing for England. So he's only sort of competition really is Chile's first team, the senior squad of Chile who clearly don't want him either. So Jamaica is an option. If you were to ask me the type of goalkeeper he is, I certainly think that he could be a little bit more commanding. He could be a bit more commanding in terms of how he manages set pieces. Whether it's corner kicks, free kicks, I still think that's an element that he can improve on. Shot stopping ability, improving something that that he has done quite well in and then has enhanced over time and playing in the english league that physicality that strength will certainly be able to mature in time he's played in league one league two the chilean premier league the irish premiership and also the conference so he's played in physically imposing leagues so i think that sort of experience will be able to help him move forward in his career and to take him to that next step that he wants the good news is a goalkeeper, so we can expect the best is yet to come for this individual. And like I said earlier, as it relation to the, the depth and everything like that, we're not sure what's going to happen to Dwayne Miller's knees. Look, I love Dwayne Miller as a goalkeeper. He has an outstanding record as it relates to clean sheet per game ratio. Outstanding. Amal Knight's brilliant understudy. But like I said, you can never, ever have too much depth. And that is why Lawrence would certainly keep not only Blake on his toes, but also Knight and Miller on their toes as well. Like I said, you can never, ever have too much depth. Anything can happen in this game. Players can lose, can get injured. Players can get suspensions. Players can lose form. Players can even lose their mind. And players can even catch the virus. That's the reality of the times that we're living in right now. So that's why I think Lawrence Vigoro should be given that opportunity to get that Jamaican passport. The good news is he's spoken to an agent that works with the JFF and Lawrence is interested to represent Jamaica. Once you have the interest, you're one step ahead. So that is some exciting news for us to take in. Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts about this video. Are you excited about this news? Do you think Lawrence should, should be included, should not be included? What are your thoughts about his ability as a goalkeeper based on what you have seen of him throughout his time in England and Ireland and Chile based on his experience? I've got good feedback from him from the Chilean perspective. and I've gotten good feedback from Joby Makanov's perspective as well. So it's certainly an individual and a goalkeeper that can add value to the program. And when you think about... The, the depth and the pool that is needed moving forward. Definitely, it's going to be a scenario where we can only benefit from, even if it means that he's only going to be pushing Blake. I can only improve Blake to go from a top-class goalkeeper to be a world-class goalkeeper. And that's exactly what we, what we want from him. That is exactly what we want. So let's hope that it is a process right now where Lawrence 
gathers the necessary documents to start the process for a Jamaican passport. So Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Take care, guys.